everybody. Good evening and happy December 10th. Is everybody ready for the holidays? I know I'm not. <laughs> welcome, 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 guys. We have a very, very special set of guests tonight that I'm like really excited about. Um, and I think it's going to be a really good show. We are starting about five minutes late. We have been having some technical difficulties, unfortunately, but we are still going to have the show. We are still going to move forward. Hello, Jeremy. Thank you for joining us. I am going to be switching between the chat for the show, like the comments, and uh, switching between the private chat because we've had some issues because I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a special guest tonight who we do have an interpreter here with us tonight to help us get through the show because he is deaf. Um, however, we keep losing the interpreter due to lag. And so I may be having to private message him to get your questions out there to get my questions out there too. I type really fast, so it works out perfect really um, for me. So if I'm jumping through your, com if I'm not getting back to your comments, it's because I'm looking at my other chat. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so anyways, without further ado, I have a very special guest tonight um, from Supernatural Adventures. They're from Southern Indiana. And so everybody, I just want to say let's welcome Lisa and Travis. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. How is everybody doing? Doing pretty good. It's raining out. Having some storms come our way. I'm doing yes. Uh, but it's you no know, storm being right now. Awesome. Yeah, it's raining here in, in northern Indiana. So um looks like oh. looks like looks like our interpreter is trying to come back. Hopefully it works. So yeah, hopefully she can um stay on the show here with us. While she gets while she gets logged in, uh, Lisa, tell us about yourself and and uh, just tell us a little background about um, your exp your experience with, with the paranormal and how you got to where you're at. Okay, when I was young, I wasn't scared of all the scary movies like some kids are. I grew up with my aunt. And we would always watch scary movies together. And we were into the ghost and all that stuff. And I had my my first experience when I was nine. Um, my parents and I, we went to Tennessee. My great-grandma had passed away. So we went to stay with our great-grandpa. And I heard something when I was sleeping, rocking, like moving. I woke up. It was a rocking chair rocking, and I see her right there <laughs> crocheting, rocking back and forth in a rocker. It was kind of scary at the time, but not really. I thought I thought it was more cool, I'm like cool. And then I've had a few on and on since then, and I just started going paranormal trips with some friends and on vacations we would stop and go to places and investigate um i've been to several places on my own i'm just awesome awesome <laughs> travis would you like to tell us about how you got into the paranormal field okay so what happened i was Maybe seven years old. I think some of you me to um, check out, check out the hotel um, with you. And so the midnight, um, there's a reason why I wake up. I saw the black people. They're all black, but people are black. I can see each year in their eyes. They're all black. It's really that cool. So uh, I feel scared. So I. Uh, Kind of, I don't understand what was going on, so I freak out. I like talk, so I plug in, I feel hands, I scream, and I, 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 I
So I really confused what happened. So I'm not sure. Even the actual show is weird at the end. Okay. Because the, um, the, um, I'm leaving work away from the basement. My friend, we take a picture and we're talking, we take a picture. Okay. And he saw me watching him, like, eyes on him. So, or told you take a picture. So, uh, take a picture. So, you'll be going, like, BBC to beat, we call it. So, where, where was this? Huh. At my career bar, the career bar house in basement. Yeah. Oh, where you, where you live? And the only second time I saw several people that two times. Yeah, I'm Okay. Okay, now, now I have a spirit here from that piece. I think follow me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Two days, three days, bro. Yeah. Okay, three days. So um, I was in the problem watching a video about tomorrow's storm meeting. I was to 15 minutes. Um, and the air, the air, cool trims, like a chore. They led to the playoff. It is sick. So I'm like. It just flew off the third shelf. Okay. Wow. And sometimes she has a full super the full attitude. Like mm -hmm. same time I have a spirit. We are same time. Yeah, we, we call it. Wow. <laughs> That's weird. That's yeah, I know. Other. And I said, weird. Yeah, I said you're weird. not going to believe this. And he said the same thing. I'm like, what? No, they actually, it actually, it's no way to say I actually tried to fuck. In fact, it's trying to be a we want to. You have my ass you pick up. You pull Lift it. up off the shelf. Yeah. So there's no way to do that. That's so weird. It's so weird. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. I, I'd like to know, um, how did you two meet? Uh. We were in a paranormal group chat. Okay. Just, just talking about yeah, liking I spirits and ghosts and places we wanted to go to. And we were talking about like to do our own team. And then okay. I got to know him. He got to know me. And we, we just became really good friends and <laughs> thought it would be neat to do our experiences together. The, for the death and the non-death. Yeah. I was on the Facebook, um, think about going out in the place to, so I'll try to figure out where I want to truly team. But the problem is I'm a team, so I don't know if you team will have a piece of money me. I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry i we are being named, we are picking out. We already take it, we already take it. So, we super, super, and we too, and we too. So, we go with that team. So, okay. I understood oh, just a little bit. I do apologize. I actually don't have the greatest hearing myself. So, I do apologize. Um, could you reiterate that, Lisa? Oh. Did I freeze? Yes, for a second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the last time I gave me. I don't know. 
Okay. Well, how how let's uh, move no, forward. How how many are on your guys' team? Four. Four. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah there's four of here. us right now. Oh, oh, no. and, and where are you guys located out of? I'm in Mooresville, Indiana. Okay. And he's in Indianapolis, Decatur Township. Okay. So central to southern, I think southern. that is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so your guys is, is your team name Supernatural Adventures? Is that the team name? Yes. Okay. And how did you guys come up with that, that name? Well, and like, when did, when did it all come together? Like how long ago has uh, it come together? What do you mean? We have a person named McCall, a paranormal, a paranormal amateurs. Paranormal Adventures is what we were going for. Okay. We, that's what we won. But someone already had that name. Um, we seen them post and stuff. So just out of respect, we just went with this. And hopefully we won't have no issues with it. We've seen someone goes by that name. But um, we started like six months ago just talking about it and doing it. And we went from like nothing to having every piece of equipment there is now. <laughs> It's crazy. It's like we have our own websites and pages, and yeah, he's, he's the the computer one over here, the technical. I one. know yeah. it's you. It's actual not very interference. Just know how to see the server wall to be so whatever. He's got our first episode. So. Ready, set up to go with the music and everything in the background, ready to edit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, well, welcome to the community. Uh, I've been a part of it since about 2015 online. So it's it's a good place to be if you're into the paranormal. Yeah, I'm really so excited to feel part of more. I'm part of more. I did the world, you know. That way, I go on so I can mm -hmm. from hours. You need so many years to understand because I tell you, people, tell them sometimes don't understand what's going on. It's time to go on in the house because so many charges come in the pores. Hey, tell them. Sometimes we know the demon, and there was no way to come to see. So, I don't know if it's going to be a boy, so just hey, it will break out more. Because I don't know if it's going to go on. So, that's why I'm trying to make a team with yeah. a ham, spread ham to go east, to go on. So now, now you need to use the purple to egg or in that dog. So he's trying to figure out like what we hear. Yeah, and that's um, going to be interesting on when we actually go tomorrow. Is trying to communicate that way. Um, he's like, what you know? He could hear a little bit, what just a little bit with his earpiece in. Okay. The noises, he's not going to be able to hear at all. So it'd be interesting like to see his expression when he sees our expression. Yeah. And you may not get scared as easy because you won't hear it. <laughs> yeah. But if you see it, it's hilarious. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm in the industry and um, we make all the places. I don't even know what the family is here. I don't know even what to pick up. They sound like walking mm -hmm. to the forest. So that's what I like. It's a two period with me in the field. So I can actually pick up forest. Boom. Yeah. So the only thing I really, really, really worried about the spirit 
train them the barrels and the barrel. So yeah. They, you because so like you the sound now I can you hold no sound when you put it on now I can you so that's why I have to be careful we go to the train now barrels. It's like when we went on that investigation in the woods his earpiece went dead completely. Really? Yeah, we really go to put on yeah bears, but I have been bear with a twin, 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 twin. So I'm very, very lucky. Between now, twin, you might see her. It's go up on the morning each. You twin. Come on. So the so like ghosts affect your equipment batteries. It can affect his. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, his earpiece. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like we were. We just went messing around one day. We went out, um, found an old abandoned hotel, and we were out in the woods. And eventually, his earpiece had just stopped working and went dead. You could hear like lap, like birds a little bit, like the background and stuff with the earpiece on, but then it went completely dead. And I think that's because we had an experience. <laughs> yeah, was it fresh batteries and everything? Or? Yes. That's yeah. sorry. That's why I'm into well, Miami. We saw me to point an extra a barrel to put it on. If it does happen, we turn out so to switch. We're good to go. So um, now he's taking a fully charged one with him. Yeah, I have a soldier. <laughs> in case that happens again. That that's so interesting because we all charge our batteries for equipment, and he has to charge his earpiece because. Of the effects, so. Yes. Uh, excuse me, turn to the toy you call me on. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. All right, so, Lisa, how's it going? <laughs> we'll, we'll chat while he takes that. Is it the interpreter? Pardon? Is it the interpreter that's calling? Is that what he said? I, yes. I think yes, okay. Hey. Yeah, she keeps trying to log in, but it's not showing up here. Yeah, it's so. not working. She's talking to him right now. So okay. What's going on? But yeah, that okay. was kind of really creepy when we were out there. And he's like, you know, we were talking and everything else. I'm trying to learn the sign language, some of it. I know the ABCs to spell it out and stuff. But okay. yeah. And um, he just tapped me. And he's like, I'm like, I can't hear. I said, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. And he's like, no, it died. So his whole thing went out and went dead on us. Yeah. So um, so yeah. we talked a little earlier before the show, and you guys had mentioned that you went to um a location called what's it called? The McDonald? McDonald's house in Attica, Indiana. Okay. And I don't know a lot of people that's gone to that. I don't know if it's a newer place, but did you guys experience anything there when you were there recently that's paranormal? We saw a lot of orbs. Okay. Like with your eyes or with the yes, photo with or video? Eyes. Really? With our eyes. We've seen a lot of orbs and we had REM pods going off and the music box went off. And some of the evidence was kind of a little iffy. We didn't really show any of it because there's people staying there. So people were actually living there at the time. Yeah. And it was kind of hard to get clear evidence of everything. But we we communicated with a little girl. Okay. And she told us that she was nine. Oh, okay. And we asked her if she could play the music box, that we had a music box or a ball. And okay. She played music box and it went just winding up by itself, just playing. And playing. Really? I asked her to stop and she did. And then she started playing with the light up balls. Um, we, it's like when we told her about, you know, you could play with all that stuff. We'll leave it here for you. Um, or you can follow us into another room while we're looking in there. That we, we don't mean any harm. We're just here to help. We asked her if she was stuck there, if she was scared. And yeah. she mainly stayed in the one bedroom. It's like 
There was something with that bedroom. There okay. Was, there was a full size bed in here, but something about the bedroom. Yeah. She, I don't know if that was hers in the past. Maybe. Okay. I'm trying to research some of it to. to Were see there it. toys and stuff in there, or something that would trigger her to want to be in there? Um, there was an old fireplace. There's a rocking chair, but it was just downstairs. The only bedroom downstairs. The rest of them were upstairs. Okay. So I don't know if she just liked it down there by herself. Too much stuff was going on upstairs for her. Okay. Um, that's where some of the people live, are. So maybe she got annoyed. She decided to just go down there and stay. Well, I've not been to the McDonald house, but I will say this, that... Um, I think it's, I don't know if you guys had to pay to go there, but if they charge, I'm just going to tell them whoever, you know, is living there, maybe they need to spend the night out of the house when you're doing investigations because it's really hard, even when you have close neighbors to a location, yes. like there's a lot of city locations I've been to and just the noise from outside is too much. So yes. you, you got to keep that in mind. And you can hear some cars go by. The windows mm -hmm. are really, really thin there. So yeah. You your cars and see some headlights and stuff. So you have to like you don't debunk that. Right. But yeah, we were told that there may be one person staying there that lives there at the time, but okay. it would be a problem. He'd either be gone and wouldn't be in until late. Well, that wasn't the case when we got there. There was four of them, and they were living there and coming out and going to the bathroom, taking a shower, what can out wow. the door. You know, we just couldn't get any evidence. And, yeah, I didn't think that was fair to pay what we had to pay. You know, we had to right. pay. It's expensive. <laughs> it's very an expensive hobby. Yes, it but is. To me, it's not a hobby. It's like my toy. Like it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a lifestyle. A lot of people look yeah. at it as a lifestyle. Yeah. And it, 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 other than their day jobs, because most of us have to have day jobs to you know pay for this. Um, that's what they do. Is everything paranormal? So yeah, I, you just you have to love it or. You know, and it's just, it's, I love it. It's fun. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't look like our interpreter's coming back. That's okay. Um, Travis, I have a question for you. Um, is there ever a situation? I'm typing this guys at the same time. Situation when you heard something paranormal, but others didn't. That's my question for you, Travis. Mm, I, I, can't, I can't answer that because I'm. I told you. No. Sorry, I'm up. I don't know who was up again. So, so um. I mean, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I just, I just remember. Yes. Um, the day time I'm leaving from um, my career prayers with, with just me. I'm not one of my wife. That way before. Um, I'm sleeping in the room, so I'm talking about two years Yep, it's me. Trust you at grandparents? Okay. It's just me and my career phone, which was in TV. Um, okay. Yeah, what my career phone is cooking food okay. for home. So, so mm -hmm. I was working quite a time in my room. I can remember I'm so I walk as soon as I walk in the room. I thought a whole lot of like old man and lobby. <laughs> really? Oh, they and so it, like my grandpa. They so like him. I was near. No, no, but in near to your lab. No. I hope the time I could tell the tool and old 
moment you mean I could tell the principal for now I can so and you you to you um now okay I'll go to a pop or look away for say hey do you lie no call you lie she was not she was sleeping I woke him up so, okay Oh, you woke him up? Yeah, that was so weird. Like, nearly come to We sound like it sound like grandpa. It's almost like him, but it's not. It's really team around. He's she saying about my grandpa's dad. So, okay. I, I don't know. Um, other day, we say we were working hard and sound laughing. I was looking for my kid, my old car, and I am looking for kid. I could find him anywhere. I was looking for his mitt. I was looking for him. Because sometimes I forgot where I was. I remember yeah. where it was. But I remember where it was. It's not there. So I look everywhere. Ooh, yeah. Twice. And the third time I was looking, my kid's wet there. And the murder of a bed is wet there. So well. What? Okay, I'm wow. lost. Why? It's really the probably my bed is probably clear. That means I was just open. We came in the murder of a bed. Three times, two times. I was in the room. It was not there. Twice. The third time. I was so, it there. So, okay, so, so you had items. Um, you know, always choke them. Play yeah. all there. So, so I asked if I would need. Do you put them in my keys? You know, the bed. No. Okay. Someone, someone moved my keys. They got out of my keys. Yeah. He's waiting for you. Wow. Okay. So you had some items moved, and then I just, I wanted, I sent it in the private chat, but. I did make a comment there about it possibly being a mimicker of your grandfather's. Um, I had that in my own house. Uh, I hear my dogs bark and uh, all that. Uh, my kids talk have, have been reported to me. Me talking has been reported to me from other people living in the house. And uh, so we have what I call a mimicker. I don't know what it's technically called. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. That's kind of creepy when that happens. I have a friend that gets that a lot, and she would always ask me, you know, can you say that again? And I'm like, say what? <laughs> she said, you came to the door and asked me something when I was in there. I'm like, no, I didn't. And she said, it sounds just like you. Yeah? In, in your house or their house? Oh, it was at an investigation that went oh. So she asked if it was me, and I told yeah. her, yeah. So, and she said it sounds just exactly like I did. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of. Um, hey guys, by the way, those of you in the chats or on the live stream, please feel free to ask questions. I will share those. Um, I do appreciate everybody stopping and saying hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting Unveil. Uh, thank you for supporting um, uh, the guests for tonight also. We greatly appreciate that. So, um, uh-oh. Oh, no, what happened? <laughs> we lost our guests. Guys, no. It is such a night. This is okay. I'm there back. they are. So they're I'm back. A private chat. He comments. Sorry. Okay. Oh, so somebody got click happy. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I have a banner. Hold on. Let me put this up here. I have that. I forgot to put that up, guys. I'm slacking. <laughs> Okay, um, I have actually a few more questions I want to ask. Um, oh, okay, I got one. I've got to pull it up in private chat. Travis, um, what what kind of equipment, like paranormal equipment, do you like to use? Hmm. 
I'm curious to know. I mean, oh, I have, I have everything. He has um, everything. He said he likes to play with it all. <laughs> I got everything. Only I do I have E D E D I like a black over the. That's all I do I have. So I got bring a number of new supplies. That's all the camera. Blah, 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 blah. I have everything. And that's LS camera. He just got some new, so. Okay. Okay. Um. So everybody knows that like EVPs is a thing. So Travis, for you, what about EVPs? Do you do any? Do, do you have anything to do with those? Yes, we do EVPs. I will tell me to, I will try. Tell me, I will try in my voice, sir. I believe that. We spirits have numerous routes where we can stay in a lot of the world being. I will be warm, but sometimes I have needs to eat. I'm always eating. I'm always being. So we need to eat out of the EVP. I will go to the piece like on cameras because I'm warm. Piece of yeah yeah uh we have we have a question for you travis this one's for you um no well not yet not yet not yet i'm still new to burn them all sometimes i feel several fun that story can it you know something there it's now and now again okay, because I would do most women um some happy I would do feel naked or never find just feel normal. It's some happy it's a feel normal, okay? It's a habit. Okay. Cool. I I have another question. Do you um, are any of your other senses heightened, like, because of your situation? Oh, I type. Well, since I'm a day, well, I can hear you, but not perfect. So I'm more visual and I see more, but I'm so really inspiring. For normal enough to him, I am to see more than normal, like with the shower forms, because I can see it. I can receive my ear, my rage. I can see all that side. But I think my first time going to the poor normal, so seeing as we see more visual than. Mm -hmm. be fun to know in that. Okay. We have an interesting question here from uh, Jeremy. It says, if someone who is deaf when they pass on, would they remain deaf? And if so, providing they can still talk, would you be able to respond to an investigator using sign language? Have you tried that? Um, the industry, because if somebody did open the when you live, you can see, you can hear, but you can't hear, you can see. So if you die, you can pass away. My belief that when you die, you can pass away. Sometimes, you can see, 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 I don't know. We couldn't understand and understand the sound so because you knew me so well. So it's like you knew me so well. So I understand everything in the But I don't know how would you to figure out if it actually that. So. 
Yeah, I I know when you watch like TV series, um, they show like somebody who can't walk. Well, when they die, they can walk. So, but which is interesting because I've always, as I'm a medium, so I always feel like personalities go with the um, person um, that they're mean in life, they're mean after death, you know, it just takes a process for them to get to a better place. But now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever addressed anything like if somebody's deaf in life, they can now hear or if somebody's lost a leg in life, they now have a leg. I had never even thought of that. Even though I've read for so many people, it's never been brought up. So that's an interesting question for sure. Yeah. I think um, it's somehow we didn't know more. If it's someone redeemed, he died, he passed away, he's still around the house, family woman. Mm -hmm. And able to understand the community, but I would to know how the team the spirit of the spirit that he did was them, how the community would like about if it's a poor see Aaron, he team the spirit. Someone um the team is it cannot talk and it would not and it terrible. All the ends. So I wonder how we take it feel. It can be when so that's think about it. But mm -hmm. like if someone was saying, when you someone pass away, it's healed. So I don't know. Yeah. Because, well, sometimes sometimes other teams. Sorry, other team. Yeah, I'm like this. Sorry, sorry, baby. Um, it's okay. Yeah, no, I just tried to say, um, we are in spirits. The only in the state of Spanish and it's in the English. So we try to interact with the spirit and only know the spirits. So it's that simple. I mean, we hear, hear the all the team not to know how to sign. The team is very only side, no boys. So, okay. I don't understand it. So, if you feel you see someone inside, no, yeah, it was feel oh my gosh, this actually so I understand what we're saying. So, you interact more, or yeah, way. Um, that's why I want to inspire it with the team. More to the team experience, TV family, and the years old, and pull the spirit actually understand what I'm saying with the spirits and normal, but I'm trying always, always sign and yeah. actually respond to my course, always sign no pause. They actually understand what I'm saying. So, right, right. Um, it really intriguing thought if someone died with a physical disability can communicate in a way that we can all understand in any form. But I believe if you pass, you can contact in many foes. Okay. I, I, I love that everybody has, um, is, 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 oh. is engaging oh. in this theory after death. I love that. That's awesome. Um, Talking about uh, sensitivity to um, to the dead. Okay, so Lisa, this one's for you. All right. Okay. So I noticed in your bio you mentioned about being a little bit of a sensitive uh, yeah. to. So explain to us, if you don't mind, what you consider a sensitive and what kind of abilities you have. I feel things like it's just comes on. I mean, like I can tell him that I feel something like I felt that little girl sitting on the bed next to me. You, I could feel the cold spots. Um, I just, I could see shadows. I sometimes I got real confused on smelling like 
smells like blood or something. Oh. Like, I, like I was at Waverly Hills in the tunnel, in the death tunnel. Okay. And it got real strong smell on when I got further down. I thought it kind of smelled like soap at first. And then it smelled, I smelled blood. I didn't think about it being the death tunnel. I was right. pitch dark walking all the way down there. But like smells, um, dreams. Mm -hmm. My dreams are weird. Dreams, okay. I can have dreams and end up the next day or a week from now being somewhere and saying, we already did this. This has already happened. And deja vu. Yes. It's like deja vu. It's like I can I already know it's gonna happen. I feel it feels weird because it feels like why am I doing this again? We just did this. Um, I experience that a lot. Um, or vice versa. I'll have a dream and of something like say a car wreck. And then oh. my know will call me and say they had a car wreck. Um, right. It's just little things like that that I can tell something's wrong with my my son. He's a firefighter. Okay. <laughs> I, like like health wise or like just he's he's sad or mad or like a anything like, like if he's upset. Or if he got hurt, or if he's on a run, um, worrying about him being in the fire. Yeah. Do you it's, ever feel people's emotions? Yes, and it gives me migraines. <laughs> <laughs> I get headaches all the time because I can just, it's like you, one minute it's sad, depressing, like we can go somewhere and I walk into a room and feel anger. Mm -hmm. It just feels angry, you know. Like I want to get out of here. It's or sad, and you start crying, or you're like you want to stay and help, but you yeah. You know, you're trying to communicate. What is it? Yeah, I get a lot of headaches, real bad migraines from that. I'm sure you probably do. Yeah, I. I it's it's being an empath is the emotional okay. aspect of it. So an empathic person can feel others' emotions. Um, can have those emotions, even if they, they don't, you know, they're not in that state of mind. They'll just have them. They'll get mad all of a sudden. They'll get yes. emotional. Um, so, yeah, it's being an empath is what it is. And a lot of mediums are also empaths. It actually helps to communicate with the, with the dead. I think if you're empathetic, I really do. Yeah, for a long time, I didn't know a name for it. And then people would tell me, you're an empath or you're a yeah. or, you know, I walk someone to come in or a room or whatever and, and then I'll just be mad and yell at them or just start crying or I, I feel someone in there that's just sad. Right. This, right. I think I don't know. It makes you feel crazy. Like people think you're crazy. You're, you're not you're not crazy. Most people are closet mediums. I used to be one. So just just so you know you're not alone. Okay. Yeah I'm a little nervous right now because <laughs> it's like all right. new. It's all new and well if you ever have questions, I've been doing this for several years. I am happy to answer anything for you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So yeah. just and I'm not I do everything for free. So I'm I'm cheap, you know what I mean? So <laughs> just just message me, okay? <laughs> investigation with us sometime. I would love to go down to Southern Indiana and do an investigation with you. Let me know. And I've been to the Stone Mansion, too. That's not far from me. So How do you like that? Um, go in the basement. That's where it's hot at. The basement. That's my, that's yeah. my suggestion, okay? You should come to um, with us. Uh, I have never been to Randolph. It's only yeah. an hour away from me. I have to go. If, if somebody gives me an invite, you guys. All the other people in the area. Somebody give me a damn invite. I cannot afford Randolph, but I want to go. What? Oh no. Things are things are happening. Sorry. <laughs> my wife would ask all the stuff because she make it hard so He's talking to his wife. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, I have a question on the screen, but I haven't read it yet. What's it say? Do you, you do you ever take another sense away when you investigate? Like using blindfolds, do you feel that it heightens your experience? Um, yes, we we will try to give my team a to feel to feel no sorry sorry do like the SB seven. Yeah, we just see no sound. So we have to be like Dave, no sound. So that way you feel to you know how I feel, but just me no sound. We mm -hmm. told us all that no sound to see in the end is more visible, you feel more, see more. Um, sometimes you play in. We are cheating. You cheat them. Yeah, um, a lot of people I know do blindfolds, yeah. but I never thought about turning off the sound. Like I think I think I want to try that out now. Just yeah, turn the sound you feel, off. See it. It's feeling it. You did. You know, actually no sound coming with try to talk. You can hear nothing. Yeah. That's what I like for me him to do one time on investigation. I go mm -hmm. in and I can't hear like him. Put like headphones, like mm -hmm. always in the background. Yeah, I know some just... people find so real. That's actually spell every day. All the time I took off in the shower, in the sleep, did it. So that was all about cool. Yeah, it was I... cool. I just imagine if I took away my sound, like my eyes would open up more, you know, yeah. like, and I would be like, oh my gosh, it's yeah, because we pure know silence. Sound. When you know sound, your eyes hate sweat because it's, I don't know what, how, when you know sound, you add like more puzzle, like, you know, the same more that you thought, like, even in the detail, you can see more. With the air yeah. Pulls. There, we catch on the cell. You can see more. Even in the detail, you see more. Put it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's. I might try that now. I have walkie talkies, so like I give him one, and I take one. So like, if he's on a different floor than I am, if something was to happen or whatever. At least he could say something and right. make some bad noise, and I know I can get to him. So, right. <laughs> but I know what you mean about the SB7s. A lot of us, I had our teammate Michaela go downstairs on a different level while we were investigating with the blindfold. I was upstairs asking questions, she didn't know what I was saying. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we did that, and that worked out quite, quite well. It was kind of neat. Yeah. So, let's try it. Like you see on Kindred Spirits. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. We are getting low on time. So, because my show is only 55 minutes long, so you guys know. I don't oh, know. Wow. I'm fast. It is. So, um, I mentioned the Stone Mansion, and I know you guys are doing a private investigation there. But you guys planned on going live to kind of share your share who you all are and your team. Is that right tomorrow? On Facebook, we'll announce it. Um, yeah. We we on all the videos or YouTube. They would share or Twitter. We have Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. And all that set up. So. So you'll be sharing that. Ex you'll be sharing tomorrow. Um, your experiences. We will do what my play is. We go record the character. Hopefully, in three days. Hopefully, I'm gonna pick up my clothes and I'm gonna go here. Yeah. Hopefully, I can have first. Let's put on the road next Saturday. So, I'm gonna okay. take time to go through this time. Before you get down, you see it to me before you get sound. I think you're asking if like we're going to do check-in lives. Are you going to do live? Yeah, like check-in. Um, probably a couple times throughout the night we'll check in live and say, "Hey, this is how it's going," or we had this 
happened and, you know, stay yeah. tuned, write them up, you know, keep them informed and stuff. Stay tuned and watch, you know, this episode when it's up. And, yeah, I do that. Okay. Um, so you have YouTube and you will be putting together something and sharing that with everybody. That's what Travis was explaining, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and also YouTube, you guys are on Facebook. You said Instagram. Where else can we find you? Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. I'll, I'll be with a little free, free record. Be me on our YouTube one live. Mm hmm. Even if it's one time in life, because I don't have a equipment to apply to people alive, it's because of what you don't have a Wi-Fi. So all you need is you need a Wi-Fi. A lot of streets, because I want bad quality, not to pull in and cut off. So I'm working on a lot for later. So, so that's why I'm doing pretty cool right now. To be a of a lamb for what you buy. So, you can know you so just clean it. We can know just clean it. So, awesome, awesome. Um, so, everybody, uh, definitely go find Supernatural Adventures and give them a like, show them some love, say hello, tell them, hey, I saw you on Unveil Paranormals podcast. You guys were awesome. Okay, do that. <laughs> Love that. And want us so to much. come out and investigate, let us know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have questions for them, I'm sure they're will, more than willing to answer those questions uh, from you. Um, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know next week's show on the 17th. I don't have a guest, actually, it's just me, and I'll be doing live readings again. Again. <laughs> and I'm actually looking forward to it, guys, but this time, Please send them to Unveil Paranormal, okay? Go to my actual Facebook and send them there. I still have some in my inbox. I'm going to try and get to. So unless those people aren't on the show, I, I will ask if they're on the show or not. If they're, if they're not there that day, I'm going to move on to whoever's on the show. Those live readings go fast. I don't have enough time to get everybody. I do apologize, okay? Um, I was last month was the first time I ever did that. And I had no idea it was going to explode like it did. So this month I'm doing it again, because I thought, why not? I love doing readings for people. So next week, if you want a, a reading for, uh, send me a digital photo to Unveil's page. Okay, guys. Um, all right. Um, so anyways, Travis and Lisa, thank you so much for being on the show tonight. I greatly appreciate it. Um, my viewers greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said, no, nobody is, I, I'm open to anybody and everybody, regardless of their situation, um, when it comes to the paranormal, because we all, we all are special and everybody, you know, just has their, I love learning about all this. And even if things are a little different for the other person, it's great. I love it. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm a big fan of learning about people. So, Thank you so um, for having yes, us. yes, we will for sure have to invite you. <laughs> we would like yes. to, you know, to go with us. Maybe the Randolph and you can do some readings there throughout the building. Message me. <laughs> that's that's all I just message me and I'll see if I'm available and we'll make something happen. So yeah, definitely just let me know. Um but anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. I had a great time. Thanks for to our guests. I hope everybody has a great evening and an awesome weekend. Good night. Thanks everyone. Good night.